the things that the suppression of the knife really gives you, especially if they're unable to take any sort of control, you can leave a lot of players in the retake without any abilities remaining. Now Chihuahua already looking to try and break through that wall. NIP coming in from behind, but as said, everyone's in the sight. Nice little flash over from KO. Blinds everybody on this site. Opens so much room. And Heretics, they're coming through with the kills nonetheless. It doesn't matter, blind or not. They seem to be way ahead when it comes to the aim. At least to start it out. Chewy, not going to last. <laughs> Chuck darts thrown over in a fast push. JD up on top of the wall. Gets completely disorientated. Eccles needs to be huge on the back site. But it just isn't happening. That is the plan. And Heretics now have a huge advantage with upgraded weapons in their hands and the ability to play any close range tool they want heretics are definitely looking like the the favorite team to bring this one across the line i think nip are already contemplating a save the question will be do they hang around now, they can make this one incredibly costly but you have to remember for this point of the round this is a, a bonus round for heretics so realistically it'd be much more costly if the remaining weaponry was lost by nip e even if it ends up being like a, a three for one three for two trade i think heretics gonna be more than okay with that still patiently rhyme is waiting the first kill should be coming for free anything more won't be too bad but as said it's not really that much of a problem and the repurchase oh. might actually be tougher hey Seems odd, but I suppose it's sort of used instead of the Astro Stars you'll normally see to keep them back or the nade. Chihuahua, is he rebranding as Chewy? I feel like that's that's what he's going for. Uh he can do. I'm I'm still gonna call him Chihuahua. <laughs> no, he's he's Chewy from now on. <laughs> you just wanna call him that because that's also the name of your dog. Yeah, I suppose my dog will get confused if I'm just shouting like Chewy, Chewy, he'll be running upstairs. Yeah, you don't want to do that to yeah. him. <laughs> we'll stick with Chihuahua, I suppose. Speaking of the man, already taken down Lau, that flank. Paying dividends straight off the bat. Now, we'll recon to go into sight. Going underneath, it should reveal them up, but it's destroyed right away. Now they have to fight from the back foot. NIP staggering their push, and that's ultimately their downfall. Already making this look pretty good because realistically the rest of the oh, players are so far away. Nice shot from Kriya though. Might give them a chance in this round. Oh, it definitely does. A weapon retrieved. The problem is JD doesn't have any reinforcements here. Oh, the flash. That was so good. Flying's pad attack and gives a kill on sight. When you've only got a sheriff, one for one trades like that. It's like gold dust. Now NIP have a chance to get back in here. As I said, they retrieved a weapon. They've also got a couple of abilities, including KO's ultimate. That could be pop to try and open up some space. But when you've got pistols, you don't really want to fully commit to that until you see a sign of life, until you see some hope. But Chihuahua only having the one knife left. It has to be a headshot out of him. The round is long. Oh, well. Okay, Alrand. You can, you can take that one to the bank. It's an ace. Again. They've stacked up the site. Rhyme is finally going to use the null to deny any extra utility, but it looks like we might just see a reposition here. JD will at least find one. So the danger man, the man who's been building up those reses every few rounds, is going to fall. Chewy in a good angle. Now, this is just a 1v1, but oh, almost caught napping. Monster takes him out like it's nothing. And that advantage and that ultimate, gone. Now, put Chihuahua down, NIP have a pretty big hole in their defense. So many players towards this B site three, in fact, pushing all the way through. But Astra is completely isolated. Plus, they could already be up behind her and spawn. Great shot oh, by Lau. What? Jumping up, finding his footing just in time. They managed to trade him out, but the side is being pushed on Korea, repositioning to use the wall to his advantage. I love this, but only the one kill for it as the plant comes in. And look at what heretics have to play with afterwards. The lockdown in the hands of Monster, even a TP, if needed, to get out of the lockdown from JD. This is going to be a lockdown to counter like the counter. lockdown, and then a Hunter's Fury to counter that lockdown. Out of tech, almost certainly going to go for the teleport. Indeed, he is. He is already out of here. Oh, oh smart JD. Big brain. Wow. Well played, JD. Completely read that. Yeah, that, that's one of those plays that I think the first time we saw it, we're like, oh, that's really cool. And now everybody's like, 
he's just gonna heretics are pushing in ko's null command has been popped and monster holding up close does he go into the smoke no he waits for them to come through but jd somehow still gets the kill now lel has a lot to do all by himself his teammate is down soon to be dead a few seconds left to get the res in and it's not gonna happen lao needs this kill quickly to Eccles before his teammate comes to help but to aggressive clear I'm, I'm a bit surprised we don't see more of a push off of that to so maybe try and get the kill for the player out of the angle instead it's this split once again panic tech already trading off the back of chewy and lao he's now gonna try and push it's actually sorry Eccles is pushing off the back of the Hunter's Fury. Still, though, Rhymus brought it back, and they have an advantage. You know, Mill was sneaking down, but they know he can be here at this stage. Rhyme just hiding on the backside. Astro Star goes into play. Rhyme's already spotted them. The rotates are coming. And somehow, he's not taken down. That flash defines up a Milwa, but he still gets the kill. <laughs> this is a confusing scenario that we're witnessing. But JD has perfect timing. The flash, though, they seem to anticipate it. Still, nobody's covering it, and a Milwa's taken down. Spike not planted puts Lowell in a very dangerous scenario. Picking it up and trying to plant it might give them the opening to push him down. It looks like he wants to take the fight to their front door. And he has just knocked it open. One versus one. Recon to backside. Oh, look, and who's already up beside him? <laughs> oh, Chihuahua. How is he down on middle? <laughs> one second into the round, and he's already infiltrated their spawn. A quick double opening, and although it's traded back, heretics end up on the back foot. Now NIP can sit pretty comfortably. If they have to play a retake on B, it's it's whatever. They've got a lockdown to do so. They're just going to make a move together. Down through short. Rhyme catches and meets his end. Aloran spotted, but... If Heretics still take it home, it could be a bit more problematic. Echoes, though, very well placed. Such a great position, but it's checked. On the crossover, Aloran takes him down, and now this three versus one. What started as a chaotic push down middle to give the advantage over to NIP ends with a 1v3. JD lockdown has the could lockdown. Be huge. It, it could. It's so risky, though. They would just three-man push him, and he'd have to. If he spots the wall. There we go. He's going to do it. This is going to be like, absolutely There's only one insane. way they can go. Unless they destroy it. He has turret. Th there's, they have to get out early, and they have. Okay, th that's fine, then. Like, it, it was more the problem of oh. where the wall is. The only one I see online right now. Oh my God, Chihuahua! He's doing it again. What? He did this lot what, two, three rounds ago, and now just rushes in. What? What? This is ludicrous. And then IP just lost all sense of how to play Valorant. Full pushing down mid before their players are even halfway into main. I, I'm, I'm baffled. True. Oh my God. Why is he throwing it there? Why would you not throw it at the wall beside you? What's going on? I'm, I'm going to be honest. This this looked like a pure panic round. Like the, I, I think the aggressive stance that NIP have started to take is almost it almost just looks like they've realized that they can't hold onto the site. Like we also knew that they had a lockdown on the attacking side in this round, so. I almost feel like they just went, okay, we're not going to be able to hold on to B. Let's just try and fight them and push them and catch them off guard. It didn't work, that's for sure. And then, well, Rhyme had to try and kill everyone. Can I blame the man for panicking a little bit? No. Let me be honest with you, Tom. <laughs> I've, I've seen more structure. Let me put it that way. That's what we see on this map. Oh, get a right click out, Alarant. You can feel it. Right click would have gotten that kill. Yeah, JD gets two kills there, though, so it's actually ended up going in their favor. JD has still had his moments throughout this match. Monster, he's normally unbelievable in these pistol rounds, but this time it's only going to be the one. Rhyme trading back and the lifeline looking to be built. It's left just onto Amiwa and he... The upgrade, they can just step over there. And uh, Heretic's having to fight back from the back foot. Yeah, this is looking good. A chance for a bonus round victory and basically giving them a way back into the map. They'll spot the first player. Easy clear for Alaran. And of course, he's going to get the second one as well. No heal online, but Ryan at the back is incredibly low. Oh. Now, he's not going to get to use his wall. That has been denied completely and no utility will be up for a matter of seconds as they've caught the majority of the team. But he now will get to close off that remaining angle. No one in it. They've got to check for the closer. But Alarant is still going strong. He ends up with three kills in this round. 
And while he's got time as well for the defusal, it should be a little bit close, but his teammates have... Oh, here we go. 20 seconds left for them to make this execution work. Already getting cut off from trees, so there isn't much of a direction for them to go in. Alarant again is with... Oh, meanwhile, and they're just shutting this down. Ten seconds remaining for them to try and get this planted. They just have to try and stick it in the remainder. They're just going to go running through. Lau already dropping one. It leaves just Rhyme remaining, and he's going to get dunked on from behind. Monster with the 360 styling. Great. Thanks for the input. Strange way to now back to the round. His name. We're, we're going to have Chihuahua pushing into mid. Pad attack. Oh no, it didn't even get the kit. Was that straight through smoke? It was. Yep, Lau just decided to spam a couple of bullets to help out his teammate and finds a freebie. Eccles has fallen as well elsewhere. It just seems like everything's falling apart at the moment for the ninjas. Nothing really getting done. And well, hey, they know that Patatek is here. Yeah, sometimes the imp is going to spot at the player on the left. Now they've got the info on both. Patatek's ready for this play up close. A little bit of Ooh. shaky aim and out of ammo, but... Spike hey, down, still a 1v3, I guess. Look on the bright side. Kree even reloading the Bulldog. 10 health remaining. 10 seconds remaining. Oh, no. no bullets remaining. Oh, no. And now, no health remaining. It is 12 to 5. This this was Nip's pick. Okay. Nip, yeah, yeah. Nip's I feel a little bit more comfortable. It was, it was, it was, it was Nip's yeah, pick. feel a little bit more comfortable than going on to Heretic's map, uh, Breeze. You know, that's where Nip will do great. Yeah. Chihuahua not feeling that. Oh, my God. Here he goes. Back over to the site again. He just keeps on doing this, and they're not ready somehow. Monster getting completely blindsided by that play. Chihuahua taken down by Patatek, who's still going for more headshots delivered to oh, Eccles. Not but this man skin. survives just about. He has got a Lego oh. gun, and he's coming to take some lives. Oh, JD! Aggressive peek that works out perfectly. He <laughs> tagged up by the <laughs> turret now suddenly coming online they have that flank long awaited by Eccles and oh he's been spotted going to go in for the hunter's fury actually and try to cause some damage and distraction taking the killjoy ult out of play they have four seconds to destroy that attacker ulti they've got to get in there now oh and just about in what? the nick of time but I'm very interested in on the attacking side we're not going to see a million percent of what it's capable of okay. jd already okay. magnetizing bullets to heads rhyme swings out to take down Emilwa and lowell's on one hp this should be a nice easy pistol for nip to get them off the off the ground well i hope so yeah see they, they've used a pretty unorthodox screen which I, I can see why it was used. It like, pretty much cuts off any of the rotation points, give them an, a position over the door and above the bridge. However, it doesn't cover off any of the site, which uh, I think is a much bigger problem. They basically just had to take pure angels, and I suppose after the last map, they felt pretty confident. Now both players are incredibly low, so I, I don't see much of a way in which NIP loses this round. Especially with the shot. Oh, 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 it just about, just about reaches. I thought he might survive that one. Yeah, Lowell is pretty screwed. One HP going through that. 30 seconds left. Oh, he might get, he jumped and it still wasn't heard. Okay, Rhyme's gone. It's reasonably doable. Oh, damn. One headshot and this could spiral left. out of control, but it's delivered by Chihuahua. <laughs> 200 hoop, yeah, that's about maybe like $8. I'll, I'll take that deal. Not bad from Korea finding one there, but a real shame that they were targeting the a pretty strong position here. For JD, it's not going to be expected by Monster, so a free kill at least, an upgrade of weaponry, it might give them at least a slightly better chance if they were to go for any sort of retake. Now they've got the gamble completely wrong this time, and realistically, I think this retake is fairly unlikely, especially with how far these remaining players are away, and by the looks of it, JD's having none of it. Saving this weapon into the next round really wouldn't be a bad thing at all. It looks like they want to play exits on this. The fact that they're still closing in the distance, I'd be very surprised if they decide to commit, but JD is swinging wide. My God. Maybe this isn't exits. Maybe they're actually attempting at these lunatics. Lime, not going to get anything done. It's, I don't mind the other two going for it. It's JD still Ooh. fighting and taking them all down. Well, that's worthwhile. What? Three close. Now he's in trouble. It was all a bait. Hey. Chihuahua able to grab the kill and Ryan oh. goes in. 
absolutely huge. Two kills on the board. Chihuahua still primed and ready. Operator in hand, dash to get out of there if he needs it. And he spotted the barrel. That's a free kill. One man standing. It's all down to the Viper of Lowell and Chihuahua. <laughs> You're not going to get in with a shoulder beak. Oh, maybe oh, you are. No. <laughs> so that's exactly what they do. Emilwa now ready to pop the reek on the back. Sight Korea wants to swing, but he can't find them. They're disappearing. Houdini's up against him. As they now come to the back side, Korea's corner. The first kill goes his way, but how can he isolate these? Surely he... Oh my Ooh. god. The 140. But Alaran stays alive and heals up to 109. Now they can get the plants. And this round is kind of ridiculous. This is a round that really never should have been, and the chance for the line of balance. Thanks, thanks for just, just in case you were really confused. Oh, nice this is a big Hunter's Fury. Off the back of the drone coming through. Alarant trying to at least find a little bit of information before they do see the end to that lockdown. Look at the position here of Monster. Surely they don't expect anybody to be this close. We're also going to get the Viper's Pit coming through, but instead, they're actually going to reclaim tube control. The door already being open actually might be a bit of a giveaway of how close one of these players are. And I think they might have actually spotted the close player. They will. Echoes is going to clear that out, giving them a way back into this round in the two versus four. Alorant getting the short end of the stick on that fight as well. Almost as bad as dashing into a door. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. Oh, wow. NA are going to be kicking themselves that this wasn't over there. I think they're sponsored by DoorDash. That would have been fantastic. Eccles is up close. If he makes this jump, he's dead. He has the patience. I think he's heard the steps. Yeah. They have the information now that this is going to be an A play. And a very early flying coming out from Eccles. The wall just about blinds him. He's running. They should have heard him. They definitely heard him now. The flash popping. And they just turn. Face him down and take him down. Weapon even retrieved just about. And the only player remaining is on the secondary flank. But Krius. Well, yep. they're, yeah. they're not reinventing the wheel on the NIP side. It's the Heretics guys who are playing a little bit different. How does Alaran get a kill there? He is completely blind on his own and has multiple players staring at him. And he still gets the headshot first and gets out of there. And by the looks of it, barely... He, he lost 13 AP and the armor. Well, at least he's lost all of his HP now. That's something. That is true. NIP going to be happy. Someone punished him for that. <laughs> Heretic. This has happened a few times, though. Panatech did this in the round with mm -hmm. the classic. He's just been able to get too much control. That seems to be one of the major problems for NIP. Either they leave some vulnerabilities on the A site, or they let some space in behind. However, the A site stack, or the stack up of players, seems to have done its job. Giving them an advantage here, and look at the position of Chihuahua. This should give them the round. Spike dropped in the open, and the TP to the back of sight is going to have absolutely no benefit to it. Again, this operator from Chihuahua is the save it can be played with. Uh, although, speaking of pacing, they have upped it in this one. Straight out towards the A-side. Oh, JD is dealt with immediately. One way allows them to see Chihuahua coming, and yet he still gets the kill, and out of there with his life. The man advantage sits to Heretics, but only barely. The flank from Viper might seal the deal if they're not careful. That's not going to help things out for the defenders. It makes this a very awkward attempt at a retake, and Alaran is still alive. Killing everyone as he goes. I, that that bit might not be part of Dora the Explorer, though. I haven't watched it in a while. Yeah, I think they left the murder part out of it. Uh, I've never seen guns either, but hey, you, you never know. Alarant, oh. he's not getting that kill, but he did assist it, so able to dismiss afterwards. JD dealing some decent damage until the wall bang takes him down. Looking to get six on the board here. Heretics seem set to get it, and uh, with Kriya all alone, I think it's all but six. I think it's still up in the air for Heretics how it's going to go. I really... Oh, no dash? I thought they were going to dash after they blinded up those players, but instead of much more passive stance, no. and they run right into Monster. Free low. Pretty much, but Korea trades. Now we're into even numbers. Heretics having to play this 3v3, they but have they've a. taken over the A site. Okay, that camera's gonna spot Alaran, and he's gonna use it to his advantage. <laughs>
playing through the <laughs> cage so and Stop. taking JD down. Even at this point, it's the confidence that he has. He feels like he knows he's the best player on the server. So why not play like it? It's the final round of the half. And NIP have a 2v3 retake to make happen. Failing this, it will be 7-5. And Heretics take one step closer to 2 0 this and knocking NIP to the lower bracket. The alarm bot active? It's not, but the turret is. So that, that will give things away. Oh, he's even got a lockdown that he's just going to place basically in the open. They should be able to destroy it as they go pushing it to the site. However... Oh, he collided them! He There's going to be a flash straight through, but Alaran's dodged it. Come on, man! Give them some goddamn space! He's, he's what? blind and he's killing them! Someone remaining. stop this guy! It's a 4v1 and NIP are down in the dumps. Ryan on the site by himself. But here comes Alarant. He is hunting him down. Looking for the 3k. Getting that ulti charged up. And oh, oh okay. he's actually being defeated. That's, that's a change is, of narrative. He is not a god after all. So many. And I'm hoping during the like break for a lot of the organizations, they do make some moves. Here we go, though. This is the bonus round. Decent position, but Chihuahua is going to open things up. Around the NIP desperately need to win. They're going to have a chance to survive within this upper bracket. Already, though, they're going to go falling all the way back. Walking into the clutches of a couple of players. Monster, he hits the dink, but no kill for it. Swarm down is going to delay them a little bit. It does get activated in time. The cage, eh, a little bit early on popping that, but okay. You can still make it across. Chihuahua doing so much damage on the lurk. And this site should easily be nipped. I told you, man. You got to have some faith. Weapon is cracked, but people don't seem to be using it. Eccles, Chihuahua, quick kills on the board. And with that, the pressure continues to be applied. Emilwa being pushed from every which angle. And a 2v4 now on their hands. It looks like the Twitch chat, whatever, Reddit would be like, oh, existence is a noob, get rid of him. And the team would always say, no, we need him. Like, we wouldn't have won that game without him oh, because of dead. the direction he's giving. Now, he's Alaran's been down, taken Mitch. down. This is... Oh! oh, my God, Eccles. That is possibly the best timing I've seen. But he doesn't know. He doesn't know that he's been blessed and that, in fact, two players have walked straight oh. past him. Now the info is there. They've spotted them out. This is where you crunch in. And take them down. There's no way out. Unless they go into the A site, they are dead to rights. And Eccles pounces to take the double. 5v2. Surely there's no way they win this over on the Heretic side. And indeed, I'm certain of it because Alaran's dead. Yeah, all right. Just just save just save the rifle. Give it to Alaran in the next round. It doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly. Already, we're seeing a lot of ultimates being invested, and this is going to be troublesome. Panditech is already going to be gone. The Seekers will reveal Amiwa still on the site, and they're also going to send out the dart. So if there wasn't information before, the split now coming in. Amiwa looks like he's absolutely screwed. Balorant comes in to try and save the day. He's taken one with him at least. The cage will leave him isolated at least for now. And just look at this from the attackers. They're looking a little bit more hesitant, expecting their opponents try and come in a little bit more on this retake. The only issue, really, for the attackers right now is the fact that the spike hasn't crossed. It's actually going to get dropped to the floor. Peak coming in from Alarant's risky, and now it's on to Monster. 36 HP. Only headshots available at this point with how low he currently is. Lockdown not going to do him any favors, and in fact, he's going to get owed by Echoes. The classic is enough to grant them more all day. Well, there's Alarant's gone. Dealt with immediately. Chihuahua has pulled it into a 5v4 and Heretics have lost their star player. We need a new hero to step up and Mopatatech stepping out into the sightlines of Chihuahua who is having a field day on this attack side off. Shock darts in. Rhymes in a little bit of trouble, but hey, the rest of the team's already dead. So I guess he's not worrying too much. The trades Ooh. quick and fast for JD and 11 to 10 take pretty much flawless and the fact that they have marshals almost plays against them now tom because they can't really play range with the wall up uh, or yeah. or they can play range well that's the that's the player in tube now these guys are pushing into them oh god how is that not a headshot well finishes him off the heel gives alarant away but it's still a man advantage 10 seconds they need that's a plant now yeah, there's still the oh! flank coming the shot hit by a maybe this is his round to try and take it over 
We're also going to see the lockdown put into place, so they're being almost stuck into the corner. They're setting this one up for Panitech, who's going to use the paranoia, lands the shot onto one, and it's all onto Rhyme. That looked like it was spot on, but the shot isn't quite connected. A chance in the one. Don't run through that. What are you doing? Oh, what are you no. doing? Yeah, but you got a poison orb, a nano swarm, and a snake bite, and they just go, yeah, I'm going to. I'm gonna just run through it. Nip, what are you doing? It's 11 11. Oh, Tom, you remember I said I, I'd never seen worse decision making uh, in, in the previous <laughs> map than IP? That has just beaten it. They've just beaten the record twice in one series. How have they done that? I, I don't believe it. I've just witnessed. I, I've yeah, never, really I've never seen three people be like, I'm gonna run through a poison orb and a snake bite and a nano swarm. Hey, what? what? Well, may maybe they saw the monster just used uh -oh. his ult and they wanted to try and give it back to him because that's the only real reasoning I can think for <laughs> that sort of play. They've now they, they, there's nothing they can even do here. Like, the spikes down on the other side of the wall. They're being held back by utility. They're gonna get smoked off as well. Like they they basically just have to try and drive peek. I almost wonder if it's worth holding on to the guns at this stage. But again, they might just have the finances to play with. It's an ace for Monster. He's gonna get another one. We've seen a couple of these already today, but they're waiting. So this is a great tactic. They're waiting for the Viper utility to run out. And oh, okay. was already well, on some side. of them are. That's actually got through it this time. Manages to find the opener. An opportunity here. Now, this Empress has been online forever. It seems like it's not something that is interested or Alarant is interested in. Still a minute left on the clock. Slowing things down a little bit here. Flashes through to leave them blind on the cross, but the almost full rotation oh has come God. in. Plant will be denied, but there's still plenty of time. Peek out from Alarant as he decks another, and we're finally going to see that Empress invested in. Can this man turn the tide once again? With the spike down on the site, he's going to get tagged up. That HP getting desperately low and caught in a bit of an awkward spot because there's also a player left. splitting in through mid. He should be dead and Kriya will make sure of it. This time, I don't think there's anything they can do to deny that plant. But Amiwa has managed to bypass some of Kriya's utility. The wall's just gone down, opening up the operator play from Padatek. But nothing found. Shots ringing through. Smokes on their way. He has another one to play with as well, but it looks like they're just going to dry walk through that wall. That is a brave move. And one that will end in his death. And Milwa not even with him. It seems like we've lost some of the... Although this might be a man advantage for the ninjas, it definitely isn't going to be an easy retake. The damage done. Look at this. Chihuahua. Trying to get those shots through the smoke, but he just can't see a thing. Fighting back into this is going to be tough. Like, there's a lot of time denial in play for Heretics. Ooh, that could be perfect. Going to try and force him out of the angle. Clearing some of the closer oh. corners. Chihuahua lands the shot through the wall. It's left all on to Lau, and he gets absolutely nothing. We're being Inside. hit by snake bites, by Next everything. Point. Uh, you know, when heretics are tucked back there, I'm thinking the wall that's in play, sure, it boxes them in, but it also gives them that excess sight line to play on. Like, as MIP come through, heretics on the defense or under pressure. Patatech not winning that duel. Chihuahua's way too quick. And now the man advantage is there as the spike plant soon to follow. Yeah, it's gone from an A site simulator in the first, or in the main match, to everybody just hitting B when it comes to overtime. Interesting change up, but clearly the ninjas have found that this is where things are working. Lau just walks across the site. The third map is looking inevitable. But if there's any man to bring it back, or any two, you could say these would be the men to do it. Monster, though, surely dead to rights. No! Chihuahua's made a slip up. The push coming back through is not going to garner anything, though, from Alarente. As Monster is left in a 1v2 position, the Viper's Pit only going to make things worse. And at this point, does he really expect Eccles to still be in this corner? The answer is yes, but he can't land. I love seeing Rhyme on the raise, man. It brings back the memories. Deep oh, nade, dear. not going to land. Alaran up in his face, and it's the nade that takes him down. Alaran even getting a second off the back. It's a 5v3, and Alaran is having and taking absolutely no time to get into this map.
trapped out by the sage wall as well. It's, it's so much worse in pistol rounds because you're almost just better off knifing it. It takes so long and so much ammo to break straight through. The cam's still above. There we go. <gasps> Finally managed to spot that one out, but it doesn't matter. Alaran again. Yeah, it's, I'm still waiting for the moment that this guy is going to slow down, but of course he aced the pistol round. Playing the vandal because he's Alaran. However, that ulti could come in huge. Some of these weapons lose the fights. The mid push oh, no. is ambitious up against the weaker weapons. Usually they keep the numbers together. Alaran even goes so far as to pop this showstopper and he's sneaking around looking to clear out garage. He has successfully done that. Doesn't fire the showstopper. So they don't even know that he's here. Not going to gamble it away on what is most likely going to be a waste of a shot and information given for free, oh, but JD still gets that peak. Now the rifle is dropped. The numbers are even. And Heretics, although they've got the spike down, they're on the back foot in terms of HP and in terms of hardware. Yeah, this is still their bonus round. It might not feel like it at this stage. A quick trade to actually hold on to CT. This this gives them a, a decent footing in this round now. Both players coming around and Lau, he's going to find another one. It's left. All on to rhyme, and now it's like three strikes and you're out. Well, here it's two, but still, you know what I mean. Nade, ooh, that's so well timed. Look at that out in the open. Monster was dead no matter what. Alarant only good for one kill. This is looking good. Heretics on the back foot, they have a res. Nobody's safe to res though, and they don't have a wall anymore, as you can see. But let's see. There's been a bounce back. NIP, they've got themselves back onto the ball once again. We've seen them already springboard back from these sort of positions. An aggressive stance taken by Alarant moving forward. Kriya with the chance, and actually, it's a complete push slowly coming through. There will be the realization that this is likely going to be a push towards the B site. They've cleared the corners on A as well because they sent it in the Tasmanian Tiger. And so they know it's completely clear. They're ready for this push to come through, but there it is. Oh, that didn't he land. Survived? The dash away. It was being preserved by Chihuahua all round long, and now the reward is finally there. What? Alarant with one of the quickest shots I've seen, connecting to Eccles and putting the man advantage in their favor. It doesn't rest for long, though. Chihuahua is quick to return, and now NIP mount the comeback into this. They Whoa, that's not expected. Joe, get both. Ooh, Rhyme ooh. almost went into it. Another tag up as Alarant takes Kriya down, and Rhyme is all alone. This was looking salvageable for NIP, but that Hunter's Fury was the spanner in the works that Heretics needed to finally put Rhyme into a clutch I'm surprised he's going for. I guess they've got more they than got, enough money. He's got 8,400. Got yeah, he's maxed up, so even just taking as much cash away, I'm not blind, right? They haven't even put trip bars down to cover the flank. This has to be a fast round out of Heretics, if that's no, the case. <laughs> and Alarant is taken down. Yeah, there's the trip wires at last, but hey, it might not matter. No time for a flank if everybody's dead. Panatech pulls it back, though. If only Sage was alive, they could res up and be in even he numbers. TP. He could. I think they're going to wait a moment before going down that road, moving back to clear the flank, taking the 2v1 fight that they hope is there, and indeed it is, with Kriya Holding the angle, ranged on a phantom. <gasps> They're not going to take this. Oh, no, in fact, oh, Panatech no. is. And that's the spike down. The teleport possibilities completely denied. And a one versus three that is rather difficult, it's fair to say. 30 seconds. Uh, the same left. trip's been there every single time, so he should expect it, and he will, but that's the giveaway. It has all that control. It's massive. You just can't leave it to them in the mid to late round. This time they start out by taking down Chihuahua, a hero rifle, yet again. So it shouldn't surprise us that the opening duel goes their way. JD wants to push through that smoke up against him. He's an absolute madman, and it's costing them heavily. Panatech caught with knife out. What is going on? They just get completely rolled over. Tom, that was a sloppy retake from NIP, but it paid off in the chaos. Ed, it's almost like they just completely caught them off guard because it wasn't one of those retakes that is going to clear some of the closer angles, but they're holding patiently. Panic Tech just watching, but there's still a couple more players. They're continuing to push this straight into the firing squad. It's left onto Eccles, and he will find two. But now, 
With the I think the main thing is going to be this lurking behind them. Like, Monster's positioning could be everything. He might be able to ruin this in his track. JD, though, he's actually still fighting, and that's the spike count. Now they have all the information and almost gets dodged, but Monster's flank is there. Now they can control the A side of the link, so it becomes a much tougher retake coming in. Echoes is just going to go for it, trying his best to hold on to this one. And Alaran is just going to slow this down even, just predicts. He could just wall them off almost instantly, and then that's going to make this really awkward. They're about to just blast pack their way through. He actually still gets the kill onto Almiwa. I'm, I'm a little bit perplexed as to how, but hey, he did it. A win's a win. That's what they always say. Korea is just lurking outside along. Three players moving into mid. I feel like at this point, you're. Well, that was that was weirdly directed on the bird, but fair enough. Out through the cage you go and down. Eccles oh, no. out of the equation. Luckily, that spike has been retrieved. Korea wants to go on site, clearing it out. They, they really like the A site, don't they? <gasps> nice shot connected onto Lau. He can heal himself up as JD falls. If they can at least get this spike planted, it'd be something to play with. Oh, you sneaky boy. Oh, he is so ready for this as they come through. Spike planted, and now oh. it's up to Korea, but that smoke, it's going to fade in just a second. He needs to make a move now. And getting out of it towards his teammate to try and play this 2v4. The patience coming out from Heretics, not taking any risks here. Korea, though, he might just do it anyway. Two kills go his way, and it's left on to Rhyme. His raise, it's... Uh, he's, he's quite good. Aileron, yeah, yeah, he's supposed to be decent. I heard he's pretty slept on. Following in on the Tiger, Rhyme has his corners to clear, but Tiger's done most of the work. Boombot on the pursuit. Oh, no, nasty. That rocket straight onto Alarant, and he is gone after one kill. Monster, good for a double, though. Bird comes by, but he's not blind. Turning from it just in time. Only one player on the attacking side remains, and he's tagged up and taken out. Mon right there, push. He, he has it still, so he's just going to be as annoying as humanly possible, and here it goes. Good luck getting onto the right side. They went over the top of it. Oh, it's awkward, but it actually works out for Chihuahua. The remaining players, though, they can't really get back around, but this is kind of going to end up helping them. Nice. Second shock dart not quite landing, but he's left JD on 20 HP. Monster onto Eccles, onto Korea. He's taking all the heads. This guy is insane. He's just become activated all. Ching. Yeah, they've kind of been sold to Fag moving towards the A side here. Emil, we're seeing the presence on B. Here's the flank coming through from Jet, but they are holding for it and waiting. Patatech taking Chihuahua down. And Milwa sprays away. Monster gets caught off by that timing. And now they're free to plant on C, but they haven't got the spike anymore. Heretics managed to drop it down. Sure, it's already planted. What am I talking about, Tom? Miss that sound cue and all the, all the chaos. My God. But hey, the two versus two, winnable. But I want to see. I want to keep it close. Uh, I, I, I don't know what was happening. Oh, monster. He's being pursued. Chihuahua's right behind him, coming up in his face, but somehow nothing's going his way. Alaran's even taking him down. Jumping classic from Eccles. All right, buddy. That's the sight for them right Oh, oh no. Milwa. I did not count on him to win that. Chihuahua's double spraying on? down. It's absolute madness. A one versus three, and it is 11 to eight. The showstopper committed. Right, like they were definitely slip ups early on, being caught out by these more aggressive plays and also some of the slower rounds as well that were thrown in by heretics just not facing at all versus any of the remaining players now they've started to almost play with their food throw the rotations off from the defenders and well again it comes down to can they bring any weaponry into the next round they have a rifle onto Amiwa as well looks like he's gonna throw this one in already finding a kill Making this one a little bit more costly. We're actually going to see the TP out of the sight. Chihuahua, though, waiting patiently. And Korea uses it as bait to finish off one of these remaining players. Another frag for him here. Surely, Emil would, though, smoked out. Not going to be able to do a damn thing about it. At least not for now. Now the smoke fades. The nades there. Korea might be tagged up by that down to 52. They shock darting it as well. No recon to start with. They know he's there now. 
Maybe no shock darts remaining. Jamie falling in the back lines. Kree gets dealt with. Oh, this is spiraling out of control so quickly. Monster doing huge work with the Bulldog. A res to Amilwa. And that should be a guaranteed round, really. Halfway oh, defused already. Tech doing boombox. this again. Explain that boombox to me. Chihuahua's going to just run. through. Oh, it's awkward. Monster still surviving. Both players not dead just yet. Oh. It comes down to Amilwa. Oh. He's going huge. He's found a couple of kills alongside Alarante. It comes down to the 2v2. A lot on offer here. Well, that's denied. A little bit of information. Actually, aggression from JD. He takes down Lau, leaving just one man standing. Patatek with a gun that really isn't going to be too valuable in these sort of scenarios, especially considering the position of the remaining two. And now he's managed to swap it over for a Vandal. JD on low HP can easily be capitalized on. Kree's going to be first point of contact, though. Oh, no. In fact, he goes up and JD could hit yet another overtime and keep the dream alive. Alorant, 26 to 15. He has been activated from start to finish of this series. Almost at the showstopper. Now ready to fire it away, but can't find anyone knowing there's someone in the corner. Spike That's the kill and the spike eight. drop. That's a spike. Absolutely huge. They have to go. And with 35 seconds left, they're running into a stack. They have no idea. Patatek onto Rhyme. Paranoia is quick to come in, slowing any further pushes. A shock dart takes out Chihuahua, and there's only two players remaining. Only one make that with Korea, the final beacon of hope, and it 